so I have an uh, abacus right now. There's some 15 I'm saving for later. We've already cracked the porter, both versions of Parabola, and now abacus. So, uh, epic, epic Firestone Walker ball share going on right here at Stone. All right, the party starts for me right now. What do you got there, Dr. Bill? Just a little. A little melange a trois. So this is Firestone Walker 10. Six years old now. Oh wow, it's got like all kinds of like fruity sherry notes. Like oh wow, it's uh it's pretty oxidized though, but it smells good. Okay, so we're uh, Firestone Walker 11. Still a little heat on there. Still very ro robust. So. Uh, this tastes actually really good. I've never had this one either. So first time I had Firestone Walker 12. All right, sorry, Firestone Walker 11. I'm already losing track. Okay, Firestone Walker 12th anniversary. Still has some heat on, actually. Um, get a good amount of chocolate on it. Seems like maybe a little more stout in the blend than past years. Not quite sure of all the blends on these, but uh, this one's drinking really nice. The other glass. 10 had a lot of oxidation, 11 had a touch. This one I'm not getting a whole lot on it. Pretty robust still. All right, Dr. Bill's got a Dark Lord. 2011 Dark Lord. Yeah. 2011 Dark Lord. So, uh, yeah, this is a 2010 Dark Lord. They quote palate cleanser. Sorry, Dr. Bill here. Let's try a, sorry, 2011 Dark Lord. Smells really sweet, very roasty, very uh, burnt, like a burnt character on there. <laughs> Holy crap, that is sweet. Oh. Yeah, compared to Firestone Walker beers, this is like a sweet mess of a beer. But I'm glad I got to try it. Okay, another palate cleanser. This is the Nebraska Brewing Hop God. I think it's a barrel age. IPA. Oh wow, yeah, that smells awesome. Funky on the nose. Very funky. Actually, I need a little more of that, to be honest. Yeah, no, he's got a red, I need a touch touch more. Once I smell it, I'm like, yeah, I want a little more of that. Oh yeah, that smells awesome. Fruity, funky notes on the nose. Oh yeah, that's a nice. I didn't know it was a wild ale. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that. That's nice stuff right there. Good palate cleanser for all these imperial stouts. Okay, we're doing Firestone Walker 13, which I actually just tried, and I have a glass of that I need to go get right now. So, uh, uh, this one's all pretty good. A lot of parabola in this beer. Okay, so this is my blend of Firestone Walker 14, Firestone Walker 13, and Dark Lord 2011. Vastly superior beer than just Dark Lord. That's for damn sure. So uh, they're all poured now. I have my Firestone Walker uh, 14, which you guys just saw me have, along with uh, all the uh, Beer Geek Nation guys. So you know my thoughts on this one already. So we're going to get all the balls back up, probably get a big picture. There's a, there's a Dark Lord down there. You can see it. The fire is probably really focused, but um, the yellow wax on top. So uh, we're going to finish it off with the uh, Melange de Trois. One of Dr. Bill's donations along with uh, Hop God. Okay, guys, so this is the quote Cuvée de Firestone Walker. This has their robust powder, two years of parabola, abacus, 10 through 14 anniversary ales, all in one beer. So, we're gonna try this. Smells um, very unusual. Okay. And we have some celebration. But, um. Uh, parabola. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome and smooth. Oh, wow. That would be one of the best beers I've ever had. This particular blend right here. Fantastic stuff. I wish we had double jack, but, um, you know, we want to keep the hoppy beers out of this. Oh, yeah.